starts with the family now because we took so many times hours days weeks months years away from the family members okay we give you guys back to your family okay but you guys still part of our ohana over here and you know that okay um ben i know you for years and years as uh as fellow students at david and i school you know your family everything um what you brought up what you brought up in the fire department what you changed your life in the fire department in front many of our eyes. Uh, you became footsteps that we all wanted to follow in front too. The example that you put, that your family shows, and that you show, we thank you for mother. You always gonna be with us. We love you for that. For my Bernie, hey, your sister, hey, I know you for many, many years. I used to try and date her sister, but she didn't let me. <laughs> You know, but, <laughs> but, but the thing is that, you know, Bernie was the first female firefighter, fire inspector in the fire service in the state of Hawaii. Okay? Nobody really knows that, you know, but she came in the fire service in 78, 79. 79. 79. Um, you know, we all have got mountains, we all got little moles, we got hills, everything like that. But we thank you for what you gave this federal fire department for what you built the fire department, for what you did for the inspection division. We love you, okay? Can you take care of yourself? God bless you, God bless you too. Okay, we we'll move on, okay? Yes. Okay, okay. with that, I'd like to read yeah. the certificate. Yeah, this is yeah. for uh, Firefighter Ben Aina. <coughs> and this certificate is presented to Benedict Aina upon your retirement for the government of the United States of America following 27 years of loyal service. <laughs> well, that's right. And again, signed by. Uh, how many years well, do you yeah, actually? Not have? the volume will go. Right? <laughs> 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 I love you. Thank 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 Upon the occasion of your retirement from federal service, I wish to express my appreciation and that of the Navy, Department of Navy for the 27 years of loyal and dedicated service to our country. During the course of your civil service career, you, you have been directly involved in, in many of the outstanding achievements made by the United States Navy in the Pearl Harbor area. Your retirement will mean the loss of a valuable and experienced resource to our Navy. You have worked long and hard in the service of your country and your friends and colleagues will miss you. We will wish you all happiness and the best of luck throughout your retirement. Uh, Enclosure One is presented to you as a token of our esteem and appreciation for your service. Signed, Dixon R. Smith, Rear Admiral, U.S. Navy. And it says, there's a, there's a, a personal uh, note here. It says, thank you for your service and dedication to our great country. It is very uh, much appreciated. And this is for you, Ben. No, no, Ben. Captain, speech.
All right. Okay. I also have one more uh, uh, certificate to read. And this is in recognition of and appreciation of, for loyal and faithful service uh, presented to Benedict Ainda. Um, your dedication and devotion to the ideals and objectives of the Federal Fire Department have played an integral role in maintaining the department as a leader in the field of fire safety. You should be proud of what you have accomplished during your entire federal career. On behalf of your associates and many friends, I am happy to present this token of our affection and esteem on this occasion of your retirement after 27 years, presented this 16th day of September 2010, signed by Glenn T. Delar, Fire Chief, and myself as the deputy. Thank you. Not all. <laughs> <laughs> Along with that comes this uh, again as a token of our appreciation for your uh, length of service uh, with the federal fire department. You have to be careful in the class. But again, oh, along with the okay. along with that statue uh, comes uh, the fireman's prayer that's on the getting etched in the glass. Uh, and, and you know, big challenge for you. But he left you a door open because his service was in love. <laughs> ben, you got the floor, brother. Ben, speech, brother. Um, just one of um, for, for this is tears of joy. It's um a sharing here. It's um a celebration. Um, it's an honor and a privilege, Chief Kahale, to you you, you make me look good today. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you um to come alongside you and share this moment in my um personal career. And I thank you, Chief Kahale. I wanted to let you know that. Um, for all my fellow, um, I call them more than five fighters, I call them my brothers and sisters, um, because um, they're more than um, in this fire department, in this um, time we're here, it's 24 hours and you, you get to live and spend time with, with each and every individual here. And um, um, also that, I, I count it a privilege and honor. I want to say um, there are certain, you know, um, ones that are here that um, when I first showed up in my fire station 29 years ago, there's two here, it's Chief Brown and Engineer Peter Takushi that was sitting on the back set, um, porch of Station 7, and it has come a long way, you know, from then, and I, I thank you, for the Chief and uh, Peter. And then um, also, even before that, at Honolulu Community College, I got the privilege of meeting uh, Chief Chung um, at ACC before I was even in. And um, Chief Garrigan is not here, but he was part of my helping me go to ACC. And then like Chief DeLara said, um, they didn't go back, um, real way back. And not only in the, um, but our families have intertwined and I, I thank you for that chief for um, for this season that you've given me and um, I'm proud today I'm, I'm proud in a sense I'm proud proud to be um, a federal firefighter um, words cannot put it in, in uh, I cannot explain in a sense of how much proudness I have where I know old timers have today 30 have seen the fire department just change in a sense of yeah. good so yeah. much good brothers um, and sisters that um, I, I, I'm happy to experience this and to have this in, in, in my heart. Um, I want to share my um, brothers and sisters in the Lord here who um, have come today. It's touched my heart that um, they experienced the uh, same church in a sense, but more than a church, it's a relationship. Um, everyone out here, you know, um, that has been very special in my life. You folks showing up today, wanted to express my thanks over there, you know, to, to you folks very much. Um, and 
also um, last well two more, but uh, my uh, my family, my uh, my daughter and my son that has uh, from they, I was in before they were born, and then um, my precious wife. After 25 years, she's still with me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> she's, um, she, she, has been, she has endured the uh, really. Okay, can I call her? Co co please, yeah. yeah. Please. I just wanted to share this with you. Yeah, I wanted to, um, because um, in a sense, as we know, I, I get more or less the easy part. Um, I get volleyball and planning when, when I come work and um, we, we get planning. I get company, but she's the one who had literally stood behind me with, with me. I and told him, but I'm bringing the kids to the fire station today because <laughs> <laughs> there was many times that I dropped Samson and Sonoy off at the station and, and kind of went shopping and had some therapy. So and thank God for the fire department. <laughs> that wasn't until there was that age. <laughs> So I, I, I wanted to um, give the Lord a uh, I mean, uh, thank my wife here today um, for, for this, you know, because really that's really that's the rock. Um, that's the one who stood, like I said, who stood and endured. And I, I'm so happy that um, I can spend more time now with her. And um, real short, also at, at, at age 51, I still get you know the people ask why I'm leaving, so, but. I have answered, so-called, it's a calling, and I don't take that lightly, a calling into the fire department 29 years ago, and the Lord has put a season on it. He has closed the, so-called, the door on that, that chapter, I say, but he has opened another chapter, and that's how God is, you know, he, he's, I'm, I'm ready to answer his call, and, and with that said, brothers and sisters all over here, um, I want to serve you folks in a sense of um, I'll always be available. Folks know my number and my son, you know. Um, what I'm saying is anytime you folks need someone to especially go pray for you folks or your family members, I'm just uh, that's my calling. That's where I'm going to answer in that so called, well, I shouldn't say higher calling, but it's just another calling. But that's um, in a sense of closing this door, yeah, and this season. And I'm, I'm ready for it, and that's why I, I had to be obedient to the Lord when He put that on my heart maybe two years ago. But um, and I'm ready. But there's some things I'm not obedient for. <laughs> you know, I just wanted to make that clear. Too. <laughs> but um, and then last and not least, but um, there was this time frame after all this, like um, even Brother Mano Belaski, and thank you, Mano. He's there over here. He's been with me for years now, back at Barbers Point. And he come today to take out his time from his uh, part-time job. And um, so, uh, firefighter with me. But for the last two to three years, that um, something special has been happening here. I'm sure um, I'm just kind of like, uh, one more time just going over it. But um, the Lord has given me a chance to come in at 5.30 in the morning. Um, every other week, no, every week, Tuesdays or Wednesdays, to share Bible study. And I gotta say, out of all the things that have happened all these 29 years, um, sincerely in my heart, that has been the highlight. And um, I want to recognize these two uh, people that has overseen that, and um, they're here, Chief Delora and um, Chief Enriquez. And I want to say uh, thank you, brother. And, um, and um, so with, with all that said, I, I just, that was my highlight, you know, and I'm going to leave next Thursday. I mean, uh, the 30th is my last day, as a, but I, I go and enter into the, you know, God, God has brought me in this season. And um, there's special things that he has um, covered me where he had gotten good health out of the 29 years. I never have to go, you know, for me, um, no TI and... Um, I never have to um, any um, what is that transfer papers wherever the Lord <laughs> put um, <laughs> you call my good station no, 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 no. <laughs> everywhere I went maybe eight or nine stations that when I went there I remember one time Chief DeLauro at Barber's Point called me in his office and he said oh Ben you, you gotta go it's your turn for move station 
and I never let go, and I think he, he remembers that, but it was the longest in the station, and I had to move, but um, th those things mean special to me, because um, the Lord has taken care of me in that way, where um, all, I, you know, that, that says it a lot. So, um, w with that, Chief, do you mind if I say a prayer now, just... Uh, Chief Enriquez, just because um, I want to <coughs> cover just everybody here and, and uh, thank you for listening, brother and sister. So, um, um, Father God, in your son Jesus' name, I just ask, uh, first of all, I thank, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for orchestrating this in this season in my life, my wife, and my family. And um, I pray a blessing upon each and every individual here. I pray your face continue to shine upon them, not only the ones here, but their families. I pray you cover them with the blood of your son, Jesus Christ, and keep them well nourished. And every emergency that they go, you keep them intact, Father God, and you bring them back to their families, safe and sound. Thank you for this Federal Fire Department. Thank you for the leadership down to the last recruit class who just come in. We just thank you and praise you. Pray this in your son Jesus, precious, powerful, and most wonderful name. Amen. Amen. Is there something? Ben didn't want to be up. Right? He, didn't, he didn't want this. Right? And, you know, Manny, I know you back there. When Manny gave him, we gave Manny retirement stuff a couple months ago, he didn't want to be here too. He didn't want none of this. But uh, you beat him by about 15 seconds, I think. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. You guys are awesome. Ben, can you guys come forward? If we can put our hand over them and send them off, you know. We'll bow ahead and we send them off. Lord Jesus Christ, you know, thank you so much for providing us with your son, son Ben Aina, and your daughter, Lydia Bernie Kahali. Okay, Lord, for all these years that they have given and they work for the Federal Fire Department of the United States Navy and providing service to the customers around the island, we ask that you now protect them as they go on their new avenues and their new callings, okay, and protect them and their families as they encounter in new types of businesses, in new types of pleasures, in new types of loves within their families. Lord, thank you very much for sharing these two with us. And we ask this in your holy name, and everyone says, Amen. 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 All right. Yeah, this ends our uh, celebration today. You guys are welcome to uh, give them their legs. But again, on behalf of the fire chief and I, Merry Christmas uh, to all of you. And I'm looking forward to uh, welcoming the new year coming up here, sir. But again, have a great day. Hello. Uh, Christmas party will be up. Everybody's invited.